What's up, yo? I'm gonna play it off. I'm gonna play it cool. I was just 50 minutes into this game and then I got stuck somehow. So. There's no recap of this last one. This is jumping into 8. So, 8, without further ado. That's messed up, man. That's messed up. I was 50 minutes into this, uh, this, this one right here. And I got stuck in between like a trash can and like some. Oh my gosh, that's messed up, dude. That's. Yeah, that's pretty messed up, dude. So I'm gonna play this until. Shit, until at least 5 a.m. Shit. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Dear Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not... Man, that sucks. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. So, as I said, uh, my apologies about that. I did another recording this is just a mid into this new recording if you're watching this on live on twitch my apologies shit quick shout out to dennis and menace thank you for being my 20th uh person my sub whatever my 20th follower on twitch appreciate it, appreciate it so yeah um i'm i it might seem like i'm gonna rush this one and the only reason why is because i was already as i said 50 minutes into it and I got stuck in between like a trash can and something I don't know dude all I know is I gotta rush this so let's go let's go another body and Deirdre Muller's ring the Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass how do you get out of here but that's the interview room these doors? No. I just said I need to rush this, and here I am going the wrong way. That sucks, dude. That's detectives. Oh, these stairs. Bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. I didn't want to arrest the kid, so I gave him a duck. Okay, so I'm trying to imagine you with person. Can you drive to this one? We're gonna go to the pawn broker real quickly. Where are we headed? To get some information. If my partner wants to hurry up. There you go. You've got to all right, so as I said, my apologies if I kind of rush this, you know, just sucks, just sucks. <laughs> but what can you do? So there's a clue here that I just I'm not finding somehow. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Hmm. Now to look at some clues. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down Hartfield Broadway. Hartfield Jewelry on Give Broadway. Gotcha. Does this mark mean anything? 22 karat gold. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. 
Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? I'm not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. Mm. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. One of those forgettable faces. Are we done in here? Okay, so let's go to the railroad. Yep, let's go to the railroad so we can find our victim. You know the way. You can drive. That's the guy from the paper. We have a problem. And that's one of the best things that I like about this game. One of the features is you can let your partner drive to certain locations. I think it's cool. We should keep this development ring under our hat until we speak to the captain. We're all on the same team. Chain of command, though. The skipper will decide who needs to go. Got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. Guy we'll makes me sick. Keep an eye on both of them. That's a good uh, clue to know. All right, let's talk to this guy real quickly. What you got, buddy? Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. Mm. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. There you go. Straightforward, man. I like that. All right, let's go look at these. Wouldn't park there if I were you. Let's start looking at some of these clues. Let's see what we can get. So we got a handbag. Uh, St. David Street. But only God Almighty above us has the night to judge. The upper half of a torn letter. Go over to the lot Evidence and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Hmm. Interesting. Closed a while ago, but she still has that. Always a bar. Yep. Come on. Come on, dude. Are you blind? It's right there. Oh my goodness. There you go. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Ninth and Main. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's kind of worth investigating. Okay. The good thing is I'm going to be able to do like another... Like a, I'm able to do a second try. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Hmm. Oh, okay. What kind of clue is this? Hmm. Don't think this is any use to Don't us. Don't think this is any use to us. Hmm. Just a pack of cigarettes, nothing. Take a smarter man than me to connect that. What else? What else? So yeah, so the way that she got hit, the blood spattered. It looked like she could have been standing up. She must have been struck while standing yeah, up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because the blood's like that. 
Adam Tata what have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Okay. She's gonna have a wedding ring missing, right? Yep. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. A lot of bare fingers. After midnight, we won't come that the smell. Night. Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume... I'm really... Okay, I was trying to zoom out of that. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. So the time of death... Okay... Let's go ahead and talk to this fool. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, <laughs> Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. That dude is a creep. Classic Carmine. Is that yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. I love that partner. That partner's ready to kick some ass. So when did you discover you the body? found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Uh, kind of doubt that. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. He's not lying, though. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. Took a look. <laughs> that guy's face is just hilarious. You found her lipstick. What did you write on her body? What are you talking about? I didn't write anything. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can tell how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine. Me and my friends of mine. You get this sack of shit into a cell. I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Sure, Rusty. And it's hilarious. After midnight. <laughs> Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thank you. So we need to go investigate that liquor store. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take my car. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Uh, yeah, where are we headed to? Are we going to the bar first or the liquor store? Let's go to the bar first. Yeah. I'm going to let him drive. While I look at the case notes, in other words, just do this. Read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief. Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. I think that could have been a, a side mission, but eh. So 
So this is the bar. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Okay, so when's the last time you talked to her, man? Did you see Evelyn last night? No, I was at home. Writing. Mm, I somehow doubt that. Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this pop puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at... Oh, uh, okay, so yeah. that's when why we Rollins. have to go to the bowling alley. I know that place, corner of 9th and Graham. Pops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Okay, so let me ask you about the criminal history. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. A few skirmishes? I doubt that. Save me some time or do you want I to look doubt at that. Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Thank you for the Sweet. information. I got both of those correct. The regulars might have something else to tell you, but I don't. I like that little detail how homeboy puts his shoe up there. Hold on, look. See, homeboy puts his shoe on the. I like that. <laughs> it's a cool little detail. What about this guy? You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Keep writing me, copper, man. Kick your ass. All right, so. Is there something else here? What am I missing? Because look, it says. Advice? I say we try the liquor store next. I could get a short dog for the car. Okay, so try the liquor store next. Okay. Let's go. Whoops. Let's go to the liquor store. Okay. So I'm gonna let this you guy drive. drive again. I need to go over the case notes. Yeah, I need to go through the case notes. What did you make of McCaffrey? There'll come a day, and it's coming very soon. We'll run him and the rest of his pinko button. Alright, alright, alright. Man, it's already 4 30 in the morning. LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. 
Oh, uh, so that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to do come look at the stuff and then afterwards go talk to him. Got some fine stock here, Mr. Robin. No, you let it take some for the road. This case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to so, work out. So, yeah, let's start looking at these clues. What exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago, she worked in legal copyrights for music. Okay, that was weird. Now let's look at this. Evelyn Summer, she had had a job. At the midnight. Rollins, Rollins Bowling. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. <laughs> Get it in her spare. In the spare time. Alright, so we check that out. I guess these two things, I gotta look at this picture. She wasn't always such a loner. But in fact, it looks like that guy who was at the bar. I was reading Aristotle. Aristotle. Evelyn wasn't stupid. Metaphysics. The thing about her was and she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Ha uh ha ha. Sweet, I found the clues that I needed to find. Now let me what go back to Wait no. There's still something I gotta do here. Right? Do I gotta talk to this guy now? Okay, yeah. So, let me go ahead and get his relationship with the victim. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? Probably one of the few. That sounds like the truth. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. Hmm. To be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Okay. Uh, contact with the victim. Count for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Uh, I, yeah. I uh, hold on. So, time of death. Hmm. Uh, I doubt that. She was an alcoholic and your friend, and you still kept selling her booze. You ever try to stop an addict detective? me than having her buy methylated spirits from the hardware store. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to offend you. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Not personally? She talked about McCaffrey. Supposedly, he fought in the International Brigade in Spain and in the miners' strikes back in Virginia. Hmm. I thought you were Evelyn's friend, Robbins. You should learn some manners, some goddamn respect. We're catching murderers, not running a popularity contest. <laughs> well, that was not good. Ugh. That was not the best ever. So let's go investigate the bowling alley. Is 
Let's go back to the bar and let's see what we can do at the bar. Can you drive to this one? Car 11 K, car 11 K, come in. Car 11 K, car 11 K, KGPL. 11 K. The message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. 11 K, en route. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. Wait. This dude better not take me back to Central Station. Because that's not the... That wasn't where I said to go, sir. Yep, back at Central Station. Alright, let's see what the boss wants. Let's see what this guy wants. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. Oh goodness. I want to make a promise. You know you made. Beat her up so bad. I found her. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. How bad is it? Come on. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases. Which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Hmm. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. Your marriage, yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Hmm. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey to have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. Trace the address. Operator, message for KPL. <laughs> Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks for your help. Nice. Nice, dude. You just help. Yay. Okay, let's go. So I saw him go this way, this way, this way, this way. Man, you know you, you can drive. You know I'm you gonna drive, not me. Fine. Where are we headed? So done at the bar, done at the liquor store. Let's we already went to the police station. We don't need to be there. Let's go to the bowling alley. We gotta chase somebody, I'm sure. Let me pose a question. Pens. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slime river found out. I've got
on your usual lane? I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Nah, it's the business part. You got a guy who works here by the name of Tiernan? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. He clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Alright, let's go get him. And I saw you running. I saw you running. Running, 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 running. running. Tiernan! LAPD! Get after it. We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. Uh, did I just call flashy cars to be parked outside of bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast living individual with money to buy. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? Homicide, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. <laughs> your Phelps, theories are not. You gotta get me closer. If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs into a wall and saves us all the trouble. I'll try to shoot out. Wow, man, this guy does Wait, not want. There you go. Go through the square. I hope the people see him in time to get out of the way. What if they run because someone's setting them up? Because they feel like the deck is stacked against them. I don't make up ridiculous stories for them. Leave that to the perp's imagination. Shoot him! Shoot him! Give it up, LAPD. <laughs> it's funny. Holy cow! All right, so we got that guy in jail, right? This is a car we're just driving. Very nice. I like it. So where are we going to now? Let's go to McCaffrey's apartment. We have two intuition points that we may need to use one of them. I like this car. This is real nice. Angel Flight. Oh crap. Yeah, and again, shout out to Dennis and Menace. Eat Dennis and Menace 325 on Twitch. He's my 20th. Oh crap, my 20th follower on uh, on Twitch. He said this is his favorite Rockstar game. So that's cool, dude. I like it. I like the game a lot. It's cool. I think all in all, I gotta give this game like a solid, like solid eight, eight and a half out of ten. Eight for sure. You know, I really like the game. Yo, you punk. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, 
Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Number six. Caffrey is in apartment six. Number six. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, room five six. It's gonna be right here. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Hmm. <laughs> that fool said I'm gonna kick the door down. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Ah ha ha! Found the other end of the. I have put your things back into your old room with a lock on the door. For your privacy, you can come and go as you please. I will care for you and you can return to your normal life. I know your address has changed. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. It ties McCaffrey to the scene. But I pray that it does and that you consider what I have said. I love you very much. And pray every night that you are safe and that one day you will knock on my door, your mother. Ah. Uh, it's always these open shut cases, really. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. He said he was at home, and he didn't know her, and we have the book. I see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? The LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we hmm. get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. Hold on, I'm trying to see anything else. Incidental. Hmm. Nothing else. Down the hall. This way? Which down? You said down the hall. Is it this way? Oh, down the hall. Oh, this way, right? I think his name is Phelps. He brought in the case of that poor lady killed near City Hall. Oh, okay, yeah, roof access. Grosvenor McCaffrey! Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit down and we'll talk! I do like the chase scenes on here. The chase scenes are real cool. Oh, come on. There you go. You a runner, McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight. Quit running. Quit running with your Mr. Rogers jacket. I'm gonna take you down. Oh, you wanna keep running? Okay.
These are pretty open shut cases that I've been doing. I have two intuition points. I have to get this guy to confess to the murder. We need to get downtown to wrap this thing up. It's got to be the captain. Unless Terranen set him up. I don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Now, whoever did it, so what's that Dahlia fuck? How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. Name was that ever list on. of over 200 suspects. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Stick for one of these suspects, Jeff. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fear of retribution coming. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey is not two. I want a confession from one of them. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey's in two. All right, let me remember that. McCaffrey's in two. McCaffrey is in two. So McCaffrey is the guy. Okay, so uh, relationship with the victim, known associate. So, and then this guy. So this is a guy that took off. Okay, so just want to take this quick little moment to kind of review the evidence that way I don't I, I want to make a solid case out of this we have pawn rings which have to do with the former case we got a handbag that contains her personal effects we have a torn letter addressed to Evelyn which was her mother and this one's found in McCaffrey's home movie lot missing ring that was found in the homeboy or no we still haven't found this missing ring uh, show signs of vagrant lifestyle. Time of death is after midnight. Uh, it was found in the possession of that other guy. A lot of the things you're leaning towards. McGaffrey. So let's go ahead and. Let's rule out the other guy. Since I feel like McCaffrey's the one that did it, he said number two was McCaffrey. So let's go ahead and get. Where is. There you go. Number one. Yeah, let's get rid of this guy first. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Okay. I mean, I understand that, but. That's no, that's no excuse to run from the police. Alright, so. Why did you run? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. Okay, so. He was the last one supposed to see her that night. I gotta ask him about that murder. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? Oh, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Like Evelyn tree. was beaten to death with a lug wrench. We found a wrench at McCaffrey's apartment. You see? It was McCaffrey. He had nothing but hatred for me and Evelyn. Mm. Okay, that's not good. So he's already trying to point blame on the other guy. Uh, Can the you relationship describe with your victim. relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Uh, that's... You say you barely knew her. I 
I doubt Sounds that. Sounds like half an answer to me, Ternan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. Wow, I'm off to a shitty start. Well, wow, okay. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. Well, you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. Whatever, dude. You don't like McCaffrey, do you, Ternan? He's full of the common man. A bar like the rest of us. Evelyn thought he was going to be a great novelist. And he had nothing but vitriol for her. Well. Evelyn was missing a right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key. The prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Wow, that was pretty bad. That was really, really bad. Okay, so... You see the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another accommodation? Where's the where's that oh, second well, room at? Where's the set is the second interview upstairs? I forget. I'm thinking of moving up to a forty five. I wanna stop him with one round. What the hell? This is where I get confused sometimes. That price is outrageous. Hmm. I'm trying to find where the second interview room is at. Oh, there you go. Everything's pointing to this to guy. Some questions. Do you think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. All right, so. I didn't even mean to do that. Alright, so let me ask him about the alibi. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. I'm gonna use one of my intuition to remove an answer, and that's a lie. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Fucking A, don't tell me I just literally used. It's nothing personal. Okay. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Okay, so I guess that's the truth. And you have someone who can corroborate your story? Unfortunately, no. Okay, what's your relationship? You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. I'm going to also use my intuition again. And that's a lie. You have to do better than that, Kovner. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. I can't link her to you? Okay, my bad, dude. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. So she was your follower. That's one way of describing her. She was a stray dog, desperate for a master. It's either going to be Fuck. you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. Fuck, dude. Okay, so this is the worst. Did you drop something? I honestly is because I was rushing it because I was just upset. I was because. Ugh. Gosh, man, I was upset because I was almost an hour into it, and I don't know why the freaking remote keeps messing up. I was an hour into it. That's why I just kind of rushed this one. Dispatch. So my apologies, everybody. This is putting you through now. This is not the best one at all. This is probably going to be my worst one. How can I help, detective? 
I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks. So, I mean... We have his criminal record now. What is that going to help us do? Military service. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? So that's the extent of your criminal record? That's right. I'm fighting for social change. I'm, I messed this one up too. I'm no criminal. That was wrong answer. Fuck. Wow. Uh, this is the first time I have ever. Wow, that's the first time I've ever failed an interrogation before. What are we doing though? What what what's left? What's left? Okay, so we're at the police station again. Wow. Hey, that's just to show you like I'm not gonna be those type of <clears throat> you know, I'm not gonna be a freaking a YouTuber that does edits and hides this and like I failed it. You ready to answer some questions? Fuck. I think I have all the answers. People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Too <sighs> Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's, let's see, see where this takes us. us. So your relationship with the you victim. Told us you told you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. Okay, he had very little to do. We're gonna use the intuition again. So she was your follower. That's one way of describing her. She was like a stray dog, desperate for a master. How the fuck am I fucking this up, dude? How? How? Okay, let's try this again. Everyone died sometime around midnight. Where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. I kind of doubt that. You're going to need to do better if you don't want to swing for this. I was having a political meeting in my apartment. Cheese and crackers for the fifth columnist. Some of these people will corroborate your story. I won't give up names of party members. Good. It's your funeral. It's either going to be you. Oh my gosh, dude. How am I doing this fucking awful? The party this is going to be this... Wow. Wow, dude. I am so not proud of this one right now. I am so not proud of this right now, dude. I know, it's just a little fucking game, but wow, dude. It's just... Bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Where's the end of review? Okay. Why did you run? Oh my gosh, dude, that's awful, man. I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Okay, so the access to the murder weapon, do you own a car? No. no. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Evelyn was beaten to death with a lug wrench. We found a wrench at McCaffrey's apartment. Uh-uh. I was just supposed to say that. You see? It was McCaffrey. Man, dude, okay. He had nothing but hatred for me and Evelyn. I'm not doing this right. I'm, I, like I said, I, right now, honestly, I'm just pushing. I'm not even worried about the answer right now. I can honestly just look away because, as I said, I was frustrated that I was playing this for like, I was playing this for close to an hour. And Aristotle's I got stuck in between like a 
It was like fucking yeah, wooden pallets in a trash can that I got stuck on. I was 50 minutes stuff. into this. And now I'm minutes. another 50 minutes into it. That's why I'm just kind of like rushing and I just don't care because it's kind of like... It's frustrating, obviously, you know, that I got it's stuck and... Team, I, I, like I said, I'm not even worried about what they're saying right now. I'm just trying to hurry up so I can start this shit all over again because... I might just have to get a pen and paper and figure this out. Evelyn was missing a ring from her. I might just have to figure this out right now, cause. She always oh man, this is uh, stupid, dude. Big black circular disc with a white e in the middle. This is ridiculous. It was made from an old typewriter key. It's already five in the morning, dude. You would think I would have beat this shit already. Oh come on, dude. Come on. So yeah, I have to put on the title my worst case yet. Because this is my worst case that I've ever done. This is the absolute worst Operator, performance I've ever done. Putting you through now. Fuck, ah, dude. Belts, one, two, four, seven. I'm supposed to be enjoying this. How could I help it took me 30 minutes to make it like to where it took me half an hour. It took me 30 minutes to make it to almost... In that 50 minute frame it took me to get there. For me to make it to that time frame that I finished or got stuck. I know, I know, it's just a game. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, so I'm gonna end up having to. Right now, I don't care what the answer is. I. Whatever, dude. I already know that I lost this shit. Military service. Yes, I was. Okay, so... Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? Nope, that's a lie. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! Tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her. <laughs> Oh, should I charge him? Yeah. Governor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds. Because I mean, there was motive there, you know. Congratulations, boys! You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot, Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. Hmm. Well, I pulled that one out my ass. Ooh. So as I said, this was definitely not my best case. If anything, this is my worst case. We got five out of 13 questions correct. That's pretty bad. That means that less than half the questions. Like if I ask this man, is it raining? He said, no, I'm looking outside at the clouds. I believe him. We got 14 out of 17 clues that we found. 
$17 damage in the vehicle and 58% city damage. So, Grosner McCaffrey can write a tell all memoir, memoir from his cell on death row. So, ultimately, we were able to get this guy. We did charge him for that, for that murder. So, yeah. I've always said in my videos, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, right? And, whoo. Ooh, I got lucky there, and I was able to pull that out of my rear. So, I uh, appreciate y'all checking this out. This was number eight, I believe. So, I uh, had my kid this over the weekend, so spent time with my family. I, I wasn't doing these, but I'm going to get back into doing this. Uh, I'm going to try to keep doing this every single day. So, I appreciate anybody who stopped in and checked out, you know, the video. And as I said, what I do is I live stream this on Twitch. Then I set the video as a premiere on my YouTube. So if anybody does want to watch this live, I do this on Twitch. Call me Mr. Call me Hungry Joe, right? I forget. I'm a little tired. Yeah. Twitch, call me Hungry Joe. And then, uh, hey, Dennis, if you're still there, man, if you're still there, if you could check out my YouTube page, The Real Hungry Joe. That'd be cool. I got the rest of, of the L.A. Noir videos on there as well, too. So, won't take up much more time. Again, thank you so much. I really appreciate anybody who watches it, who likes, who comments, subscribes, my YouTube channel, all that stuff. Um, I do this for y'all, you know, to interact with viewers, to talk with the guys and see how y'all guys are doing and stuff, you know, because I, I care for y'all. I love y'all. I don't know y'all, but we live in a time of age that's just... A lot of hate and anger around. I don't want that. I have that in me and I don't want that. I want to feel that love and peace and joy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, really quickly, I do want to give a quick little shout out. Quick shout out. And I'm going to make sure to leave his link in the video description. If y'all guys can go check out. Let me find his page real quickly on my YouTube if y'all guys can please go check out Hoover, H-O-O-V-E-R, Hoover the Gamer. All one word. I'm going to drop his uh, his page on my video description. He's a real cool guy. He has a lot of cool content. Um, I've seen a, you know, a couple of games that he's played. I've seen him do Returnal, Returnal, whatever. That was a really good one. Street, uh, Street Fighter 6. He's done a couple of videos, so... Check out his page. Again, uh, thank you so much for checking everything out. And yeah, stay tuned for part number nine coming soon. Later.